Hello and welcome to our AFT Fathom 12 Quick Start Video Tutorial Series, Video 4. In this video, we are going to discuss how to run a model, view results in the output window, and view results in the visual report window. When a model is ready to run, click the Run Model button on the toolbar to run the model and calculate results. The Solution Progress window will appear and shows information about the solver's progress as it approaches a flow solution. Once the calculations are complete, view results in the graph results, visual report, or output windows. We will start with the output window. The output window consists of three sections, similar to the model data window. The general section at the top, the pipe section in the middle, and the junction section at the bottom. The general section at the top provides basic information such as the simulation runtime, number of iterations and tolerances, fluid properties, and maximum and minimum pressure in the system. Caution, warning, critical warning, and information messages appear in the warnings tab if there are any. View component-specific results in the various junction summary tabs. For example, if you specified a K factor for a valve and would like to know the resulting calculated CV value, check the valve summary tab. You can adjust the text size using the scaling tool in the bottom right corner of the output window. The pipe section in the middle displays generalized parameters that are common to all pipes. The junction section at the bottom similarly displays generalized parameters that are common to all junctions. You can change the units of any column by double-clicking the header for that column. You can also click and drag a column header to reorder parameters. If you want access to more options to customize the output, open the output control window from the toolbar. In the pipe section on the display parameters tab, there are multiple parameters to choose to display in the output window. Double-click parameters to add them to the list on the right to have them display in the output. You can select a parameter in the list and drag it up and down to reorder parameters. Change the units by clicking the arrow for the drop-down menu. The parameters in the junction section in the display parameters tab allows you to display generalized parameters that are common to all junctions in the junction section at the bottom of the output window. The component specific buttons in the display parameters tab allows you to customize the parameters you want to see in the summary tabs in the top general section of the output window. These are parameters that relate to only these types of components. For example, the open percentage of a valve has nothing to do with a pump or a heat exchanger. Therefore, you can only find that type of parameter in the valve section. There are other helpful customization opportunities available in the other tabs of the output control window. Be sure to check out those other options. In addition to viewing results in the output window, overlay results on the model itself in the visual report window. The first time you go to the visual report window, the visual report control window opens automatically. The visual report control window is where you specify the parameters you would like to display. The default display mode after running a model is the output mode. Input parameters are also available in the list. The default visual report only shows parameters in units that are set up in the output control. To see all parameters, click the All Available Parameters button at the top. Let us select some parameters to display. I am selecting inlet and outlet static pressure, pipe velocity, valve CV, pressure drop, volumetric flow rate, reservoir liquid surface elevation, and surface pressure. You can change the font size on the general display tab. You can also color code the pipes based on the results, for instance, the pressure drop. Once finished specifying what you want to display, click show. The legend and parameters move around easily to improve the layout. As you can see, the visual report is a useful way to see the model results overlaid on the model itself. In summary, AFT Fathom provides a variety of methods to view results. The output window allows highly customizable options to view results in a tabular form. The visual report window displays results and color codes the model to optimize the results visualization. Thank you for watching and feel free to refer to the other topics in our AFT Fathom 12 Quick Start Video Tutorial Series.